Have you ever broken up with a roommate? 877-995-4681 to call us. You can text as well, 99338. We, uh, we'll call you back. So if you text in and you get a call in the, like, like a minute later, it's probably us, probably Eric. He will sound very excited, I promise mm-hmm. you. Um, <laughs> Maggie is asking for a friend. Uh, I guess they started being roommates in college. She's kind of looking to make a change of scene. I feel like that's probably a normal thing because... Living situations in college are very different than the real world, um, and she wants to know how yeah. to break up with a roommate. Now, I lived with, I was one of the rare cases where my my roommate, Seth, didn't know each other. We met the first day of school, and, like, I thought we were going to hate each other because he was a big musician. I was a big, like, sports guy. It was one of those things where it just worked out. I don't know if it's because, like, we had, like, enough common things, like, with the music and, and business stuff that worked out. But then we, like, our sophomore year, we added two more guys to the group, and that's where it became, like, okay. Hooey. Yeah, and there was a thing, too, where one of our roommates just, like, he didn't show up to school. His junior year just didn't show up. Like, didn't oh. bother telling anybody he didn't enroll. And my mom was his advisor. My mom had no idea. So the school gave us, like, some other kid who didn't have anywhere to stay, which was fine. But this kid, like, fell asleep making spaghetti, like, twice. And, okay. like, I, listen, I'm not saying I'm a hero. That's dangerous. But all I'm saying is, if your boy IJ wasn't going to the radio station in Minneapolis at 4 o'clock in the morning, the dorm was burned down. Jeez. He was passed out, like, what a in peach. the absolute kitchen. Although we didn't have to break up with him, though. I think we just kind of told him, like, hey, man, it's probably not going to work out. I broke that- up with the only roommate I've ever had. When? It was for like six months when I was living in Atlanta. Lyric was like six months old. Oh, wow. Okay. So at first she helped out a lot with Lyric. It worked out, but she was getting free rent. And then, because that was supposed to be for like a month, then three months. At month four, I was like, okay, it's time to help because I am a single mom. Yeah. You know, like, thanks for the babysitting, but. And then she got another apartment and she's like, oh, well, you know, if you need rent, I'll give it to you. What you mean if I yeah, need no, it. Absolutely, I need rent. Well, I've already spent it on my deposit for a different apartment. I'm like a girl. Uh. Wait, so how'd you guys meet? Um, It was through mutual friends, and we were actually really close for a little while. Like, it got to the point where I kind of had to hold her stuff ransom for rent. Really? Like, what'd, oh you, my hold, gosh. what'd you do? I mean, she had a Louis bag that was still in my house. <laughs> she had a bunch of Nike Dunks. Like, she was obsessed with sneaks as well. And yeah. I'm like, honey, I'm sorry, Ooh. you owe me like $800. I'm not giving you your stuff unless you give it to me. Well, so was the issue that she wouldn't help take care of the kid even though she was living there for free? Because I feel no, like that'd be like she a- she helped a lot at first. But then yeah. when she would help, she would get mad when I would come home after events like, you were there for too long. And I'm like, I was working Getting and paid. you pay nothing to live here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's messed up. So, yeah, it just didn't work out. It's like having some situational awareness never hurt anybody. Right. You know? Rose, you ever break up with a roommate? Um, I did, but it was kind of like a mutual breakup. Like we both decided we needed to like have our own space. So it wasn't anything bad. And I still talk to the roommate. So Oh, that's good then. At least it was like everything's yeah. fine. If you have 877-995-4681. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. So you um your roommate broke up with you. Yeah, this actually happened recently. So um she had been in the building for about the same time as Maggie's friend. Okay. And uh, she told me, we were living in Arlington, and she told me, you know, like, I still love you as a friend, but I think for my personal growth, I need to move somewhere closer to the city in Washington. Sure. So I completely understood. Um, yeah. And she told me, like, we'll still be friends. I just need um, time to keep growing up and building myself. So. It was, like, the best way possible, and we're still on good terms. So when we say Arlington, Megan, are we talking about Clarendon or, like, where in Arlington? I was in Boston, and I was supposed to go to you and Sauce's um, little yappy hour, but I think it got canceled <sighs> for COVID. Oh, yeah, oh. Megan. Oh, well, first of all, thank you for listening to the podcast. Um, yeah, oh, so- my gosh. I listened to all you guys. I listened to Really Riley. I listened oh, thanks, to boo. the Botch Hour. Thank you. And Rose, congrats Aww. on your wedding. I really love thank you guys. You thank so you so much. Megan. We yeah, love we, you. We were supposed to do, um, Sauce and I had this like event set up at uh, Bronson's in Clarendon. It was going to be it was literally the week of COVID. Mm-hmm. Like legitimately, it was a dog adoption event and then we're going to do the live podcast and we had to cancel it, which sucked. But Megan, I'm going to put you on hold to get you my man shirt, okay? Thank you. Hold on one second. Appreciate you listening to the podcast. Heck That's awesome. Yeah. That was, it was, oh, dude, it was such a buzzkill. It was such a buzz. I mean, obviously, yeah, like, I womp, understand. Womp, womp. We have puppies coming and there was dogs coming. So we're going to be doing this the second we can reschedule that. I promise it's going to be done. Uh, Ashley in Rockville, good morning. Hey, girl. Good morning. So you um, you broke up with a friend or, or what was your take on this? 
My take on this was uh, just like say that the friend has a place and it benefits you like better. I wouldn't even mention anything about like bra- like getting away from the roommate for sure. growth. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Negatively. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it, that's true. Like Eric, for instance, has zero tact. He for sure <laughs> would not be able to get that message across. No. That like I need I, I need to grow. I think that'd be like if you have to be like very uh, careful with your words in order to do that. Ashley, thank you so much for calling. Have a great day. Yep. You too. Bye. Um, I think the big thing is is just. Um, being obviously honesty always is the best policy. I get that. Yeah. But it'd be worse than like if you sign another lease for like a year and you hate that person mm-hmm. and you're like, I can't believe they were too stupid and not get the sign. I didn't want to live with them. That to me sounds like it'd be an absolutely a miserable situation. You can like, continue these over text. 